rich people. <laughs> and then, in the biscuit aisle of Tesco, I crumbled onto the floor, <laughs> like a fourth Leon cheese hobnob. <laughs> I realized I had to take some time out and break away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My emotional state at this point was rotten. <laughs> but as the dark recess of my subconscious <laughs> bubbled up through the bile of my digestive system, <laughs> I knew I had two options. I could either give up and die there among bourbons and Krispy Kremes, or I could just club to death <laughs> anyone unlucky enough to be shopping there that day. And I knew what I had to do. And in seven years of pain and hurt and anger and venom jumped into my head from that fucking ginger nut job who left me. I just puff up a pit at the back of my brain. <laughs> I knew what I had to do. And all I needed now was a sign. A sign to tell me that what I want to do is the right path, and these people should die. <laughs> and then out of the corner of my eye, I saw that sign. But it told me that things can get better. I can get some excitement back in my life. I could be spontaneous. See, that sign told me, Jaffa Cakes, buy one, get one free. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. 